Hello, my loves. I hope you're all doing well and staying healthy and not going crazy, staying indoors, which I hope you are staying indoors to keep the rest of your human family safe, like me, who has compromised lungs naturally, as you see me lighting and inhaling much Palo Santo smoke. What a world, what a world. Editing Luna here. While you're trapped inside on quarantine, it's a great time to catch up on adult bedtime stories and listen to some great books, what some great authors have to say. <laughs> and watch my other videos and hear some great things that I have to say. Well then... We are doing adult bedtime stories right now, right here, so get you comfortable, okay? Don't fall asleep with candles burning. And we are going to read Dr. Joe Dispenza's next chapter, The Gap. I'm filming that right after this, but as I stated in our check-in video, where we put all our cards on the table, quite literally. I want to start reading Fight Club, because this is one of my favorite, favorite books. Love it. By the way, this is a novel by Chuck Palahniuk, which I never know if I was pronouncing right, but that's how I say it, Chuck Palahniuk. You'd think if it was my favorite book, I'd know how to pronounce the author's name, huh? <sighs> well, so... Anyway, the first chapter is only a couple pages long. One of the reasons I want to start reading Fight Club and Adult Bedtime Stories, if you've never read the book or seen the movie, or if you've only seen the movie, you should definitely read or listen to here and now Fight Club, the book. Another reason I wanted to read this on adult bedtime stories is because I want to practice reading characters because so far none of the books that we've read on adult bedtime stories have characters. They're all like different kinds of self-help books. So I really want to start practicing reading characters out loud. And I have not read this book in a while. So we're just going to read a very short chapter of Fight Club, and then I'm going to click out of this video and film the next chapter of Dr. Joe Dispenza's Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. We are going to start doing Word of the Days on our adult bedtime stories. So how this works is I open to a random page, and then the first word I look at is going to be our word. Splice, to join by weaving together the end strands. To join the ends by overlapping, to fasten the end together, as by soldering or twisting. A joint made by splicing. That's our word of the day. And now to our book. I have a bookmark in here. The Dr. Seuss quote, you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. Lovely, lovely bookmark for Fight Club. Oh, by the way, while reading Fight Club, I have chosen to wear my Fight Club shirt. As you can see, this is Edward Norton. This is Brad Pitt. It says Fight Club under Ed Norton's face. And then on Tyler or Brad Pitt's face, it says, The things you own end up owning you. Hmm. Think about that. Okay? Let's do what you came here for. Fight Club, a novel by Chuck Palahniuk. Someone correct me, by the way. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, tell me in the comments and sound it out for me, please. All right, chapter one. Tyler gets me a job as a waiter. After that, Tyler's pushing a gun in my mouth and saying, the first step to eternal life is you have to die. For a long time though, Tyler and I were best friends. People are always asking, did I know about Tyler Durden? The barrel of the gun pressed against the back of my throat. Tyler says, we really won't die. With my tongue, I can feel the silencer holes we drilled into the barrel of the gun. 
Most of the noise a gunshot makes is expanding gases, and there's the tiny sonic boom a bullet makes because it travels so fast. To make a silencer, you just drill holes in the barrel of the gun, a lot of holes. This lets the gas escape and slows the bullet to below the speed of sound. You drill the holes wrong and the gun will blow off your hand. This isn't really death, Tyler says. We'll be legend. We won't grow old. By the way, silencing a gun like that, I believe, is illegal. I tongue the barrel into my cheek and say, Tyler, you're thinking of vampires. The building we're standing on won't be here in 10 minutes. You take a 98% concentration of fuming nitric acid and add the acid to three times the amount of sulfuric acid. Do this in an ice bath. Then add glycerin drop by drop with an eyedropper. You have nitroglycerin. I know this because Tyler knows this. Mix the nitro with sawdust and you have a nice plastic explosive. A lot of folks mix their nitro with cotton and add Epsom salts as a sulfate. This works too. Some folks use this paraffin mixed with nitro. Paraffin has never ever worked for me. So Tyler and I are on top of the Parker Morris building with the gun stuck in my mouth and we hear glass breaking. Look over the edge, it's a cloudy day, even this high up, this is the world's tallest building, and this high up, the wind is always cold. It's so quiet, this high up, the feeling you get is that you're one of those space monkeys. You do the little job you're trained to do, pull a lever, push a button, you don't understand any of it, and then you just die. 191 floors up, you look over the edge of the roof, and the street below is modeled with a shag carpet of people, standing, looking up. The breaking glass is a window right below us. A window blows out the side of the building and then comes a file cabinet big as a black refrigerator. Right below us, a six drawer filing cabinet drops right out of the cliff face of the building and drops turning slowly and drops getting smaller and drops disappearing into the park crowd. Somewhere in the 191 floors under us, the space monkeys in the mischief Committee of Project Mayhem are running wild, destroying every scrap of history. That old saying, how you always kill the one you love, well, look, it works both ways. With a gun stuck in your mouth and the barrel of the gun between your teeth, you can only talk in vowels. We're down to our last 10 minutes. Another window blows out of the building and glass sprays out, sparkling flock of pigeons style. And then a dark wooden desk pushed by the mischief committee emerges inch by inch from the side of the building until the desk tilts and slides and turns end over end into a magic flying thing lost in the crowd. The Parker Morris building won't be here in nine minutes. If you take enough blasting gelatin and wrap the foundation columns of anything, you can topple any building in the world. You have to tamp it good and tight with sandbags so the blast goes against the column and not out into the parking garage around the column. This how-to stuff isn't in any history book. The three ways to make napalm. One, you can mix equal parts of gasoline and frozen orange juice concentrate. Two, you can mix equal parts of gasoline and diet cola. Three, you can dissolve crumbled cat litter in gasoline until the mixture is thick. Ask me how to make nerve gas. Oh, all those crazy car bombs? Nine minutes. The Parker Morris building will go over all 191 floors, glow as a tree falling in the forest, timber. You can topple anything. It's weird to think the place we're standing will only be a point in the sky. Tyler and me at the edge of the roof, the gun in my mouth. I'm wondering how clean this gun is. We just totally forgot about Tyler's whole murder-suicide thing while we watched another flying cabinet slip out the side of the building and the drawers roll open midair. Realms of white paper caught in the updraft and carried off on the wind. Eight minutes. Then the smoke. Smoke starts out of the broken windows. The demolition team will hit the primary charge in maybe eight minutes. The primary charge will blow the base charge. The foundation columns will crumble. And the photo series of the Parker Morris building will go into all the history books. The five picture time lapse series. Here the building standing. Second picture. The building will be at an 80 degree angle, then a 70 degree angle. The building's at a 45 degree angle in the fourth picture when the skeleton starts to give and the tower gets a slight arch to it. The last shot, the tower, all 191 floors, will slam down on the National Museum, which is Tyler's real target. 
This is our world now. Our world, Tyler says. And those ancient people are dead. If I knew how this would all turn out, I'd be more happy to be dead and in heaven right now. Seven minutes. Up on top of the Parker Morris building with Tyler's gun in my mouth, while desks and flying cabinets and computers meter down on the crowd around the building and smoke funnels up from the broken windows and three blocks down the street, the demolition team watches the clock. I know all of this. The gun, the anarchy, the explosion is really about Marla Singer. Six minutes. We have sort of a triangle thing going here. I want Tyler. Tyler wants Marla. Marla wants me. I don't want Marla, and Tyler doesn't want me around. Not anymore. This isn't about love, as in caring. This is about property, as in ownership. Without Marla, Tyler would have nothing. Five minutes. Maybe we would become a legend. Maybe not. No, I say, but wait. Where would Jesus be if no one had written the Gospels? Four minutes. I tongue the gun barrel into my cheek and say, You want to be a legend, Tyler, man? I'll make you a legend. I've been here from the beginning. I remember everything. Three minutes. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of chapter one. I'm just noticing that the chapters don't have names. Hmm. All right. Next time on Adult Bedtime Stories, we will be reading Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Dr. Joe Dispenza. Hit that thumbs up button for me. Give some love to Fight Club and one of my favorite authors, Chuck Palahniuk. Let me know in the comments if I'm pronouncing that right or not. If you are new here, or if you just haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. It warms my heart so much. I don't know if you know this, but small creators like myself notice every single subscriber. So it really does make a difference to me. I would love for you to join us by hitting that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell as well so that you never miss a video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay healthy, stay safe, and stay sane. Bye, my loves.